start with Devin Booker. Had an opportunity to bring him along slowly because they had just paid Eric Bledsoe mm-hmm. and Brandon Knight $140 million combined to start in the backcourt. So by me starting Devin Booker was like, whoa, <laughs> what are you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm not paying him $70 million, Brandon Knight $70 million come off the bench. But I just saw in the backcourt when you have Brandon Knight and Eric Bledsoe, you had two pattern players. Mm-hmm. The game was changing. And I knew the game was changing because from my AAU teams, mm-hmm. I seen what was coming. That's not going to be sustainable. Mm-hmm. In the playoffs, you can't have a pattern player with the ball. Yep. <laughs> You're not going to win. Yep. So I looked at Devin, and I was already, before I became an interim, I was already working him out. So I knew what he was capable of doing. I was his development coach. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo, we're going to switch it. We're going to start him, and that's going to be the role. And people thought I was crazy. Because at Kentucky, he played as a pattern player, catch and shoot. Mm-hmm. He wasn't isolated. He came off the bench. And here I am saying as a young coach who just came from the G League, lost in the Western Conference Finals, <laughs> like, what the hell are you telling us? Like, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, I've seen, I've been teammates with these players my whole life, similar. Mm-hmm. And the first week with Book, I put him in limited patterns, a lot of creativity, and I set him in front of the whole team, in front of the whole room. I learned this from UB Brown. I gave everyone a role, tell them how many shots they're gonna shoot, how many minutes they're gonna play, and oh, you ain't gonna play. Mm-hmm. But if he fucks up, you're gonna take his spot. He has five games not to fuck up or secure his spot. Mm-hmm. Just be ready. You might not like it, but you respect it instead mm-hmm. of sitting at the bench <laughs> wondering, like, you know what I mean? And I looked at the book and I was like, yeah, you're gonna shoot. 16 to 21, 22 times a game. And everybody like, I mean, Book is like, what, 18 at the time? And Markeith Morris, Mm -hmm. we're gonna play out of you. I know you haven't had a successful time here. It's been, you wanna get out, you wanna get traded. We got two weeks to the trade deadline. You're gonna be our number one option. Mid post, pick and pops, pin downs, isolations, dribble handoffs, you're going to receive in turn because he's, he's agile with the yeah, ball. Yeah. He reminds me of Paul Millsap. Yep. So I started mimicking my time with Paul Millsap, right? And hopefully we get you traded in two weeks. What coach has that conversation? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you here, but I'm also a pro and I've been here. It ain't about me, it's about you. Let's kill all the elephant in the locker room. Anyone that has a problem with Marquise getting 16 to 20 shots a game, 20 plus a game, and book, raise your hand. Oh, you don't? Cool. P.J. Tucker, mm-hmm. you're going to be our defender, our leader, corner threes. Every corner three you get, if you don't shoot, I'm subbing you out. Mm-hmm. Right? Let's hoop. 